generic greetings and welcome back to where ships conquer the skies today's beverage is not on the desk in front of me one moment right i actually left it on the table behind me today's beverage is pink grapefruit juice so in the previous episodes of airships we were once again messing around and we came up with what we thought was going to be a decent solution to uh, static defences. And if we go over to Design and Fight, uh, Landship Editor, open the design, we can open the design and see that we built the Medusa version 2 and, uh, well, standard Medusa. And essentially it's an acid thrower and acid throwers have decent, uh, well, very poor range but uh, good arc of fire. Um, they do very good uh, splash damage and that's what we were hoping to uh, capitalize on and they do work but the problem is the points uh, they're just too expensive to um, field on their own versus uh, a same cost uh, static defense so that's why it didn't work so there's we, we also discussed like what's the better way of attacking them well there's there's two really good ways to go about it uh, first is high level bombing but that is generally not the province of a ground vehicle although I will eventually challenge that stereotype and we'll change that up uh, <laughs> however the other way is to board and that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna make a boarding vessel and we're going to focus on if we go to troops here we've got several different types of troops we've got air dragoons which are three little fellows in there with uh, suspendium jetpacks so they're really good for um, uh, launching at the start and then they'll fly over we have a grenadier barracks which have grappling hooks and as we all know grappling hooks are really really cool but they're also more expensive and we don't need that what we want to do is make something that is quite cheap so we're going to use marine barracks probably three of them uh, because they come with eight marines and you just need weight of numbers here and we're also going to use a spider bay now a spider bay is expensive and quite high technology level a tier five there but the advantage is that uh, it says it supports four mech spiders. These mechanical errors tear apart enemy crew with ease, but are too simple to defend or take over ships. So the idea is that those go in and those wave in and absolutely wipe everybody out. And then we follow up with the marines. So um, let's just see how we get on. So the idea is to make something that can go forward very quickly, ram into it, and then just take it over. And at the minimum bare minimum of expense as well so we're going to try and keep this quite cheap so let's go over to oh and this also immediately has the disadvantage because it's a ground vessel it means that if there's um, a structure in front you can only take that one over you can't get over the top so understand that it does still have a lot of limitations here and it just generally might be rubbish but we'll only find out if we build it you don't know until you know right so in terms of our propulsion we got all manner of propulsion. We're probably going to try and keep this quite small, and we're going to go with uh, medium legs. Um, there we go. Probably two of them, actually. Let's go with two of them. With in between, if we've got resources, we'll have a small coal store. Uh, while we actually could we probably put these down like so, um, like that, maybe stack them like that, and then put the other stuff on the back. That might work. Uh, in terms of resources, as well, we're going to go with a steel cargo door there and. Um, Actually, there and there, it'll be fine, because then they just come straight out and then they jump out. Um, on the bottom here, actually, do you know what we can probably do? Pull that back to there, like that, like so. And then put the weapon on the bottom. We could do that. In terms of weapons, what could we go with? Um, well, I was going to go with just a ramming thing. Just charge straight into it and then ram and then, you know, they jump out and take the thing over. Uh, we got a cow catcher ram. It is not very good. It's got way 250 uh, HP 5000. A grand ram, which is far too heavy for the vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Weight 3,000 with uh, 45,000 HP. Uh, we have tried to use that Grand Ram before on vessels. It never worked. Uh, a standard Ram. Uh, your medium, uh, middle of the ground Ram. Your everyday Ram. Um, it is weight 5,000, 9,000 HP. Followed by a spiked Ram, which is sharp but relatively fragile Ram. Weight 9, uh, 900 HP, 7,000. Um... I don't know if that will do the job, but we're going to give it a go. Right, so those are in. Let me put in some way to get this thing moving. So we need... Well, what do we need? We need... Um, we need some way to order it around. So command and crew. We do want a bridge. Uh, and we could place a bridge in there if we really wanted to. That's not too bad. Um, in terms of crew... Actually, you know what I might do? Do you want to put them like that? Stack them like that instead? Uh, and then just put the crew along there. That may be... Uh, I don't know if that's better. I think, I'm, I think I may prefer that. 
Let me put the over the walkway overlay on. It's actually not too bad. Um, let's try that. Um, because they're, they're they're closer to this anyway. I mean, we could always do that, you see. But then we've got this big hole in the center. Um, which isn't a problem, but I think. I think that was acceptable. So in terms of crew, uh, we can probably put one quarter in, and that's technically legitimate. <laughs> it is technically fine. Um, it's got a weapon. It's got it's got the crew. It's got, unsurprisingly, the, um, the cargo doors there in. Um, so we've got enough supply. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. Um, we haven't got anywhere to put out fires. We have only got, at the moment, uh, wooden armor. We could mix it up and go with steel wall, but you can see the HP is different. So we've got HP 50, absorbs 2 and 4, uh, and that's HP 27, uh, absorbs 5 and 3. Um, the weight's the same. We don't really care. I mean, we could go with wood wall, which is just, no, because the HP's too low, so we don't want that. We need to, we need to have some protection. Uh, steel wall is the same price as well, so we're going to go with... For a start, wooden. Although the sort of things that they'll be fling they're firing at is they'll be cannon. Um, so let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. It absorbs five and three. Cannon. Fifty piercing damage. Right. Okay. So we need. Yeah, we'll go with the wood. We'll go with the wood. Right. Um. I think it's just decorations then. So ships and decorations, we've got all manner of things. Um, why don't we change it up a little bit? Instead of going with our usual, everything's pointy. Go with like a, I don't know, something a bit different. Um, oh, that might like that might look quite good. Where's this dome? There's a dome. Oh, we can also have spikes as well. Oh, spikes. Yeah, we'll go with spikes. Um, this all costs, by the way, as well, I think. Does it cost? Yeah, it does cost and increases the weight. As long as it's not slowing it down, which it doesn't seem to be. Um, where is this dome that I'm looking for? There it is. Looks like we've got some sort of uh, <laughs> launcher on the back there. <laughs> um, I don't particularly like that, though. Um, how about that? With two lights. weird but it's all right um okay uh, oh actually you know what we could do figurehead with a scepter yes although it does slow it down and give it it's 20 cost but you know what i was gonna say i quite like it i really don't um right there we go um let's try it um rename uh we'll go for the Atlanta. Save the design as the Atlanta. And we're going to give this a go. So combat. Uh, I want to go back. Combat. There we go. That's better. So we've got some nice uh, undulating terrain here. We're going to add a building. And the building, building will be the standard white lookout. And we're going to give it a fair cop. We'll put it right at the back where we would normally situate it. And we're going to say add a land ship. And we're going to go with Atlanta. And we'll place it in... Um, hang on. There, that's fine. Right, so um, we have placed it as close as we can to the front. Uh, theirs is fairly near the back, and we could put it a tiny bit further back, but this is fine. In terms of cost, we are underpointed, or they are underpointed, sorry. We're on 1,460, they got 1,352. So it's within tolerance, I would say. Um, right, let's see if this is completely useless or not. We'll start the fight, we'll say immediately ram. And we're going to say ram to there, and we will unpause it. And it's got enough speed on it. It's got some go juice into it, that's for sure. Uh, and once this is done, or once it gets close, I'm going to say board ship. So there's the ram, and sadly, strangely, what's happened is it's chipped the bottom from under it. Because it, it came up, it's uh, moved like that. Um, and the problem, though, is although we are boarding... Um, we're not doing much because these guys can't get to it because they have to jump and then they're just going to get stuck, are they? Um, let's see if I can get for further forward. There we go. <laughs> um, well, technically, there's still a bit to capture. <laughs> um, 
right. <laughs> okay, that was <laughs> that was effective. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. Right, let me try that again. Add building. Once again, white lookout. Place it right at the back. <laughs> We'll add the land ship in, Atlanta, there we go, uh, clicky, and start the fight, once again, we'll say ram, I'm going to say ram to there, go, and then we'll only give it the or the order to board once we're near the front, because I don't want them jumping off and walking, so we'll say board, and you can hear it coming, oh, it's chopping through some trees, and board, right, there's the order to board. Um, technically, we don't have any way of... Oh, I was going to say we don't have any way of getting out because what they've done is um, they went to the front to try and jump out. Um, and then the things that they were going to jump out of um, ceased to exist, which is not great. Um, we have, however, chopped this completely in half. Uh, we can no longer move and you can see the crew are stuck. Um, we'll say board. We'll try and say board this section. See if they move. Yes, they are moving further. And they will board the bottom section. We are burning stem stem to stern, which is all kinds of bad. So we need a... We, well, I was going to say we need a way to stop that, but we actually don't really. Um, or do we? Ah, we might. Because we don't really care about that getting taken... Uh, that We don't really care about this uh, getting destroyed once it's in. But we do need a way to order people around. And at the moment, we don't have control, which means we can't move... Oh, we can move the troops. No, we can't move the troops. Um, we are still taking this over, this bottom section over. You can see that. Um, there is still a connection here. Sadly, they are still shooters with a cannon. Right, so that didn't work out. And I think it was to do with the spiders went in and then the troops didn't. So maybe it was just a weird sort of trick of uh, a weird quirk of that one. So we'll try it once more, and we'll place it up there. We'll say land ship, Atlanta, place it there, start the fight, immediately ram to... Hmm, is it is that the problem? Is the ram... is If we say ram to there instead of through it, maybe that's the problem because it's destroying a lot of the... Um, it's destroying the, the cargo doors so they can't get out. Anyway, straight... Uh, straight grade here, we'll say board, and that's where we want it to be, so they're going to now, for some reason, they like going, they like going to the back there, um, they like going to the back, I'll tell the troops have jumped out, uh, we're going to say ram to there again, yeah, see, it just, it just shot, <laughs> it's just a ram, it's just a big ram now, um, we'll say board the bottom one, uh, group, uh, troops at the bottom board that, so that should be a very easy board, you can see the ones at the top there are working out, um, you can see the spiders are taking care of business there. This is now captured. We do want to move troops, but we can't m We can't actually move them anymore. Um, it looks like, though, we may win? May. Um, the spiders are taking care of business. Right, okay. I think it's that spiked ram. I think that's the problem. Um, right. So, that's probably that's probably destroyed. And we've captured the bottom one. You can see we've got some crew there. We can't... Um, we can tell them to move. So, you see the, the crew or the borders are moving around there. Can we tell it to ram a bit more? No, because this is sitting on top of it. Okay, I think that's the problem. Let's go over to our um, landship editor again. Open the design. Atlanta. We're going to get rid of that ram. Um, and instead... We're going to put on... I mean, the cow catcher isn't a problem. I'd be tempted to put three of them on like that, but that's really expensive. Um, what about our... What about the standard ram? That could work. We'll try that. We're just going to save the design. We're not going to... We're not going to, like, make it a version two. It's just one slight change there. Um, back over to combat. I do like that rainy fight. They look quite nice. We'll go for the... Um, building, white lookout... And Atlanta, we're going to have some trees to uh, chomp through here, but that's okay. We're going to say ramp the other side. Um, obviously, the speed isn't really a, uh, isn't really a problem. We are able to actually go over most of these trees. I'm going to say board now. 
Right, so once again, it's just chopped through it, but the difference this time is that um, the crew has got on board. Hmm. But yeah, the same thing has happened. That we've boarded and a lot of the crew are stuck. And that is the disadvantage with the... Uh, that is the disadvantage with those. Okay. Because uh, they can't swing and they can't... They can do a little jump. Um, but they can't... Um, like go very far. So we might have to... Think about putting multiple rams on it. What's the cheapest? That ram is 80. That is 300. That is 80. And that is 90. So two of these... Save the design. Save. Yes. And I mean it might just be it might just be a case of I'm uh being too aggressive with it and flying it forward. It could be. Almost certainly is that. Start the fight. Ram to there. We'll try doing what we're doing, which is charge right forward. We are <laughs> carving the ground up a bit. Um yeah, that's a thing. And let's just see how this works out for us. Better. Better. Not better. <clears throat> right, it is... <laughs> right, it is that. It is simply ramming to the other side. Right, let me try that. Uh, let me try that without the... That's not a thing. Um, building... White lookout. It is... I think it is the way I'm driving it. Atlanta in there, technically on the top. Start the fight. Ram, but ram to there. Okay. <laughs> you see it uh, squish the tree there, but then uh, sort of fell over and <laughs> had to stand back up again. There you go. It's going over the top. All terrain, this thing. And here we go. Oh, it's stuck. What's happening here? Why is it stuck? Oh! Oh no! It's out of coal! <laughs> One of the trees skewered underneath it and then took the coal out, which means it's now ran out of coal, technically. Right, boy, just jump. <laughs> you see, they're all jumping off and walking. <laughs> oh, look, they're all shooting. Them. Oh, the rifles are shooting all the blokes going in. Oh no. Sorry. Defeat. Yeah, no ammo. Right. That was just. Hot look, I tell you. Right, okay, so. Um, white lookout. I keep on putting the one we built the other day in, and we will try that. Um, we will try that eventually. So we'll place that in. Oh, it's going to have to be there. It's going to have to crush down again. It's going to it's gonna skewer the um, the coal again, probably. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Right, ram to there. Go. It's working its way through. Yeah, it was just bad luck, really, that. And... Board there. So there's the ram. There's the initial ram, and we've made a hole for them. See, these, those should be able to... Um, should be able to move across, but they're not. They're not. Ram to there. Yeah, the troops are just sort of standing around on the top there. Is it that that's the problem? Is it the spikes? I don't think it is. But I'll remove them anyway. I'll see what happens. We'll see around the other side. No. Won't work out. Ram back over. And rebel command. Okay. Um, leave. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, right. Is it the problem with these spikes? It could be a problem with the spikes. It's unlikely, but we can always remove it and try. Um... The other way to do it, which I found does sometimes work. Do we need structural pieces? Yeah, steel deck running across. Um, like that. Save. And they can go up and out. And because it's open, that might work out better for us. So, land ship, Atlanta. I mean, these are all just teething problems in the design process. I keep on, I keep on loading that. Um, do we put it up this hill? Would, would be rude not to. Start the fight. Ram to, say, there. 
It's probably going to take out all the trees as we go along. Yeah, it's working out. And then we will say board, but I'm only going to issue the boarding once we're right up close. This is going to be a problem. Right, there's the board, and ah, right. So look, they get to the top and they just sit around. Uh, can we get a bit closer? Right, they're now moving. No, they're not jumping across. I'll issue some more orders. Spider was in. And we're underneath the cannons, which is the main thing. See, at this point, we're just chipping it down. <laughs> um, can we get underneath it? Right, there you go. <laughs> um, oh god. <laughs> uh, it's typical, isn't it? Oh god, now we're getting it off flak. <laughs> Um, it's typical. We went to make a a boarding vessel and we've unintentionally made the best ramming vehicle we've ever made. Yeah. Um, right. Let's try something else. Um, I ship open. Lander. One, two, three. Get rid of those completely. How much would grenadiers be? It would increase the cost somewhat, but they will hopefully be able to get there. <laughs> Let me get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We're putting more in. We are now going to put the deck all the way along to there. Um, I'm going to also get rid of that. The reason for it is I'm going to put berths in instead. It's crew 6. Now, now we've got nine, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to go for a fire extinguisher there. And structural, no shapes and decorations, yes. That on the back. Right. Save design. It's going to be the version. That's definitely a version two. Let's see what that's like. It's more expensive, but... It might be better. I don't mind paying for something that's actually going to work. Building. Um, this time, though, we're going to put the GDS turret in because that is closer to its actual value, I guess. Um, so we've got 1,824 versus 1,910. That's going to ramp to there. So we've got a lot of trees to go through, and hopefully we don't skewer ourselves on the trees. We are happy going through. That's working out. In terms of boarding, we will issue a boarding shortly, and board. So we've rammed into that, and there's the grappling hooks, and the grappling hooks mean they are in! So that worked a lot better, so instead of the crew getting stuck, they were made, they're able to just go up onto that uh, exposed deck at the top, and they're in. Uh, and I'm just going to issue more ramming on this. Um, there we go, and um, captured. Like that. Right. That worked. That worked a lot better. Let's go to a day fight. We're going to add a building. We're going to add the land fortress. The legend that is. And in terms of land ship, we're going to have two Atlantas. And this is where we're going to Im immediately encounter problems. Um, 3,648 versus 3,246. Because we've got two Atlantas, it means we're going to have to chew through the one in front. Start the fight. This first one will say ram, and I'm just going to say ram the other side. I don't care. The other one will ram to there, and hopefully uh, we won't all die straight away. So obviously we've got initial volley, which we have survived. We're probably going to get volleyed three times before we're in. However, I'm hoping that because of all of these, uh, we will be able to do some damage on the initial impact, which we have done. We're going to push the other one through. We are chipping the... <laughs> Oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> we essentially skimmed the top <laughs> of the land fortress. And it got to the other side. Intact. Yes, the ram is a little bit battered and bruised and charred. But it's sort, sort of par for the course, really, when it is, after all, a ram. But the fact that it shaved off the entire... 
the entire top armament. And then uh, uh, doing that, we were able to, like, essentially do a para drop, like, go, 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 is that, like, you know, red, green light, and they were jumping out as it went over the top. Um, right, well, we won that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, we'll fight that in. Uh, well, we'll fight it in a storm. Uh, we're gonna add a land ship, the Atlanta version two. We're gonna place that in here, and we'll add a building. Uh, we're gonna go for this land fortress again. We'll place it in there, and we're only gonna do one. I just want to see if it is indeed possible to uh, do any amount of damage with this. I'm, I'm not, I'm not confident that this will do anything other than lose very quickly. But we can only try it. Oh, not doesn't that we're getting struck by lightning either. So we have managed to um, chisel our way in there. We are going to continually ram, but I'm waiting for the crew, or our crew, to move forward. Ah, sack it. Get out the way. Out the way. Moving forward. Um, right, okay. Yeah, that, that was definitely a mistake. Because um, we took out most of our own... Um, most of our own troops there. Um, so, yes, we, we, we lost that, right? Let me, let me try that again without uh, the fanaticism. Um, so, building, land fortress, we can go there. We will add our land ship, which is the Atlanta version 2. We'll say there and start the fight and we'll say ram to there. Um, I want the initial ram to take out that big gun on the top. That would be very, very nice indeed. Um, so we are charging forward and we will say board ship and we will initiate the boarding action like so and great. So the initial ram has taken out, um, it's taken out the big guns there. I'm going to back this up and the reason for that is I just don't want to get shot off that flap. Um, I'm waiting for our crew. Oh, we're actually, we've lost command here. Maybe another bridge on this, a secondary bridge maybe in the back there would be, uh, of some benefit. We can see that we have taken it out. Wow. So, it is massively overpointed, but we won. Okay. Um, add building. What can we put it against? Um, what would it be like against multiples of these dark cubes? Probably not very good. Three of those, 1,900. Add a land ship. Atlanta. Quite frankly, I think the best order is just charge through. We could probably just charge our way through and destroy the first two on the initial ram. Um, I'm going to wait to see how it fares. Here we go. And impact. Not very well. Okay. Initiate boarding. That is... taken over. We are going to start firing now. Ram to there, and we can't move. This one will say board ship, that one, and oh, the grappling hooks! <laughs> and then the spider's following up from the bottom. Yeah, grappling hooks well worth the expense. I did say at the start the grappling hooks are awesome. Um, so yeah, they're in. Um, that is captured, and then board that one. Oh, that looks that looks brilliant with the spiders leaping. So yeah, the, the, the spiders can leap, but the other fellas, um, they can only jump down they can't jump like sidewards um or the team gets stuck now and again so yeah the, the even though you had a lot more um you did have a lot more with the original um because you had 18 no um 24 soldiers in total um whereas we have how many do we have um we have is this for each yeah, 4, 8, 12. 16. So, we've got 8 less troops, but at least these can get in and be effective. So, there you are. That has been a little bit of Airships Conquer the Skies with the Atlanta. Um, perhaps the best ramming, certainly the best ramming um, ground vehicle we've ever had, as far as I can recall. One of the best ramming vehicles we've made. Um, and... As a secondary thing, <laughs> well, not so much secondary thing now with the harpoons, um, but the, yeah, with the grappling hooks and such. But uh, yeah, it is good at boarding, and it is relatively cheap. One thousand eight hundred and twenty-four. It's 
fulfilled the d design specification. It's essentially a, a, a landing craft. You drive forward. Uh, you need to get there, so it needs the speed to do it. We're not after longevity, which is why we've went with uh, wooden stuff. In fact, to be honest with you, we could probably rip those out. Let's see how much uh, cost we'd save off that. If we go over to uh, resources, um, and we'll remove those supply hatches and put wooden ones in. Um, 1,804 as opposed to... 1,824, okay. So the difference is marginal. Um, we'd probably go with wooden though anyway, just to cheapen it out. Something like that. Although the HP is lower, isn't it? Wait, 10 HP, 100. Uh, HP, 300. Yeah, we'd probably stick with those then, just so it doesn't... So they have... Oh, they don't really need it though, do they? They hardly ever use it. Maybe that's a better way. I don't know. It cheapens it out a little bit. Um, I don't know if we need that top ram anymore, but... Um, does it stops us this driving forward and um shearing in the top off as it the the other ram it was really spiky it um it would yes it would skewer the thing we've rammed but then it would cr come and crashing down on top of us and then crush all this front section and a lot of the troops would die whereas this it sort of rams it it does that damage initially then they just climb up to this top deck and swing across so i think that is the uh, way forward we'll save that as a version two and um oh, actually while we're on we'll put this other do we do we really need do I really need it? Let's see how much it would cost. Um, command and crew. Uh, a cockpit. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's about the same cost with a cockpit in there. And we've split them up from the top and bottom there. So it means that if we lose the one, we've hopefully still got the other. We'll write, overwrite that. And um, yeah, there you go. That's the Atlanta. Um, I enjoyed that build. It, it's good when you actually make something, with an, have an idea, and then it works. Um, that was suggested by um, <clears throat> one of the... Uh by a previous commenter, so uh, thank you very much for that. If you have any ideas, suggestions, etc., for builds or improvements on builds we've already made and that sort of thing, then by all means, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.